Welcome to the Girl Power Alliance podcast, where you're going to meet and hear from some inspiring women with incredible stories who are leading in business and in faith. We are on a mission to impact the world by empowering women to dream bigger through kingdom-minded mentoring and leadership. This is where women grow. Welcome back to another episode of the Girl Power Alliance podcast. I'm so stoked. You know, social media is so awesome because you come across and get connected with the most remarkable women. So let me tell you a little bit about my guest. This is Natalie. She's from Indiana. She's a fifth grade teacher for the past eight years. She has been in network marketing in the industry of network marketing for around 10 years and really pursued that business in 2014. By 2018, she began helping other women build their businesses in the network marketing space while keeping Christ at the center. She is the creator of Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising with a community of purpose partners partnering with you in your faith and business so you can build with passion, purpose, and live the victorious life God has for you. If you are not the most perfect person to have on our podcast, and I don't know who is, I'm so excited to have you on the podcast, Natalie. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad that we got connected. I've been really excited to chat with you more. Oh, I know. Me too. Well, okay. So a couple of things. Tell I know I read your bio. I kind of chopped it up in a, and read it in a horrible way, but tell us a little <laughs> bit more about you because you know, you're, you're partnered with your sister. You, you do a lot of things. Yes. So yes. Yeah, so like she said, I am a teacher. That was like my passion. And what I've really done is turn that passion and translated it into the business world. And, um, so I kind of have been doing both and loving that for now. That's the season God's placed me in. Um, and so, yeah, I, like you said, um, so my husband's really actually a big part of this too, because we've been together since high school, um, got married in 2016 and I had been building my network marketing business and he is this like multi-talented and had his own big dream of like really becoming a director and getting into the film industry. So he was working at an advertising job and, um, also then just doing his own things like a lot of entrepreneurs, like by night. And, um, so kind of one of my big goals was to like help him be able to replace his income. Cause I knew I wanted to still keep teaching, um, until we had children. And so I, I did that. And we've kind of just been on this entrepreneurial road now for the past four years of helping him build his film production company. And my passion with network marketing just became so instilled in me of like, I never thought this is where God was going to lead me, honestly. And it's, I just, I love the industry. I love entrepreneurship. Um, and so being able to help other women, that's really where it came up. I know the name sounds hard sometimes to say victorious entrepreneurs rising, but it, that word just kept speaking to me. Like I would see it everywhere was victorious. And, um, and when my sister and I partnered together, that just like felt right. And so we went with that and our community, um, like you said, purpose partners really came because a lot of the women that we were helping or were coming to us, um, their big thing was like, how do I run my business like, and still keep my faith in it and not get so wrapped up in the world, you know, side of things or the hustle all the time. And, um, and so that's really how it kind of organically grew and, and, and morphed into that. And so, yeah, our passion is really getting women to help them become the kingdom preneurs. Like if we can spend time on social media and share about our business, we can also do the same by sharing about our faith in Christ, which is the ultimate reason like we are here. Um, So that's been a big passion and where we've really been trekking forward the last couple of years with that. So that's exciting. And um, so aligned when we first chatted, I I don't know, I think I've had like an ad or a post or something came across. I saw you. I was like, I have to talk to her. And when we talked, I was like, it was just like, boom, boom, boom. And you know how you said something you said, like actually gave me chills. You said you kept seeing the word victorious. It just kept popping up. I kept popping up. I I have chills when I say that. I, um, I call that like when God makes something 3d, he's like Uh just showing you again and again and again. And you used another word kingdompreneurs. I mean, really that is like what we, we have to make incomes, right? Like we, we don't, we live in a world where we can't just 
you know, forge for food and like hunt. <laughs> right, right. Like, we have to have our cell phones. I have to have my lashes. We have to do things, right? Yes. And so we we need to create an income to just survive. And so, but so often, well, basically all the time, we are are taught to keep our faith out of business, especially as an entrepreneur, because you're going to limit your market. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I have always been taught. And it always just kind of weaved in real gently, but what God, you know, really has been telling me for a number of months and, you know, the creation, the birthing of the girl power Alliance really is from that. And he's saying, no, no, no. The most, uh, powerful strategies that we have come from the kingdom. And so we just need to be bold about it. So mm-hmm. I just yeah, want to I say, love, thank you for what you're doing. Well, and thank you. Cause like, that's what, when you sent me your information too, and I was like reading the website, I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is so in alignment, like you said. And I had been also praying about where else or how else God wanted me to like contribute in some way. And um, so it's, yeah. So it's been just really cool that we did get connected that way. I'm super excited about it. And, you know, the, one of the things that I like to ask people is so, okay, you, are you still teaching? Yes. So I still teach. I actually just got back from, um, before this getting my kids stuff ready. Cause we're in e-learning and everything. And so I was getting all the rest of their things ready for May, uh, the May, uh, lessons we'll be doing. So that's where I came from. <laughs> so you're, you're still teaching. Plus you have your own network marketing business still. Yes. Plus yep. you have victorious entrepreneurs rising. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So when you started victorious entrepreneurs rising, and that's what you do with your sister, mm-hmm. did you, will you share with people that are either watching or listening, um, how, or if that call was something that God was like, like it stood out 3d, like we were talking, like, will you explain to people a little bit of the process? Because I think what happens for a lot of people is they, they have things standing out 3d, but they don't have confidence in it and they never take action on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, it's the story kind of really started was, so I built up my, my team and my business with my company and, and loved it. But I also noticed during that part, because I started with like, okay, God, is this really what, I mean, I was in fervent prayer about where are my next steps? Because at the time I didn't, I knew I did not want to teach forever. Like I know that about myself, even though I wanted to be a teacher since first grade, mm-hmm. <laughs> I got into it and I was like, okay, Lord, I love teaching, but I don't see myself in the classroom for the rest of my life. Um, and so that's when I was looking for, okay, where do you want me to go? Cause I loved working with women. I was in a lot of leadership positions at my school at the time. And, um, and so I was kind of just navigating that, looking at maybe going back to school to be a professor, how could I get into leadership more? And then this opportunity came up and I was like, okay, like, is this maybe something I should go for? And I prayed about it and got jumped in. And when I do something, I I commit. Um, but I found myself after a couple of years too, it's in probably some people in the industry can relate of like, you almost get so caught up in your business because you are excited about it or you are passionate, but it became, I mean, it did become an idol for me at a point and I got my self-worth caught up into it as well. And so I had to kind of like reevaluate my boundaries, my values. And I also saw that, okay, I wanted to make this be like a long-term business. So how could I really start growing and building it in a way that felt good to me, was authentic and could allow me to still kind of run that professional type of business where And I just wanted, I don't know, I just was feeling like, okay, God, like I need more of you. And so it was really like a spiritual journey too. Um, And so I started learning more about the online space and, um, and really building your business online and using social media and more so for my team. Like my team's always been just like the center of like where I was, my motivation, I guess, was like, I want to be able to help them. And through that, I was also teaching other women in the industry. And it kind of organically built itself. Other teams were having me coach them. And so we created our, um, eventually then created our program called Rise to Your Purpose. Because what we were seeing was that's where the the passion and the burnout comes goes is because we've lost like our sense of purpose or of like, really, what are we supposed to be doing? You know, you maybe hit the ranks, you get the bonuses, all those things. But then what's the like, ultimate reason you're doing it. And so we really wanted to help women get back into alignment with themselves and with their, um, their spiritual life and 
find that, like, what is their purpose and that mission within their business that can come alongside what really God wants them to do and how he wants them to be used. So that was like a whole journey of like, where I just, God just kept bringing things together. And where the Victorious Entrepreneur entrepreneurs rising came was because I was doing things over here and then my sister was doing mm-hmm. things and we happened to come together one day and started sharing what like all these feelings that we had and thoughts and things we we're doing and we're like wait we're both basically feel the same way we are doing similar things but on our own why not come together because we're like perfect balance of one another and we've done everything pretty much together our entire lives we're only a year and a half apart Aww. and So it just became the perfect match and things that she is very good with like the mindset work and all that and the tech and all those things. So it was just neat how God brought that together and, and he's just kind of been revealing things along the way. So I hope that it was a long, probably answer, but hopefully I answered the question. (laughs) That, That was the perfect answer. And, you know, I can relate so much to your story because I don't think it's, um, that this only happens in network marketing. I think this happens in every profession. And I think maybe network marketing is a little bit more consuming because it's such a social business that Mm -hmm. literally you could, all of your friends could be in your network marketing business. So it's not like you even have any separation of friend and business. So it really can be a consuming thing, but I can very much relate because, and and I was part of my journey to start the Girl Power Alliance um, was that God was like, that's not your whole identity. It's a part of who you are. And so there's almost this stripping down that has to happen. And for me, it felt almost like I, there was a part of me grieving a little bit because I had made it such a a big part of who I was. And so God took me on this really beautiful journey of stripping down so that he could tell me who I was and, and my yes. bigger purpose. That's and, like and exactly what we went through. Yeah. it's And I think so many do, which is why it's so brave and courageous and powerful that you and your sister are doing it and you're bringing more women in because, um, you know, I think the enemy wants to take something that's good, your jobs, your careers, your passions and turn, you know, it just takes the, here you're on this road and you just have to go like this, just the slightest, Mm -hmm. the slightest, um, just even minuscule off track that takes you all the way off track. And I think that's kind of how it happens. So, um, that's huge. That that is a huge thing, and uh, so do you and your sister live to get like in the same town? Uh, well, she lives about an hour away from me, but yeah, say it's not too hard to get there. Um, so we are trying. If we can't get together, we're always zooming. And right now, she has a newborn, and so oh. we've been trying to still do the the quarantining a little bit so that he doesn't get anything. But um, but yeah, so we get to hang out whenever we can. It's really nice. That, that's really awesome. And th- so let me ask you this, within all of your businesses, within everything that you do, how would you say um, that to who you are today after kind of evolving? Because I feel like mm-hmm. that's what you've done. You've evolved. Yeah this one version of yourself into this newer and we're evolving into the next one. Was, still, I was right. the yeah. Time. I feel like I'm still evolving. Yeah. yeah. Like it doesn't really <laughs> end, but, but today, if you look at your business today, both your network marketing business and your business with your sister, as you guys are coaching people and taking mm-hmm. up your programs, how would you say that your faith intersects with that? How does that um, kind of determine the direction of the things that you do? Yeah. Um, a lot really, because I mean, and that's been the big focus is we have to be, we're both trying to be very intentional all the time, regardless of just like bringing him into our business. And we actually just did um, a challenge with the women in our group of creating that Christ in our business. And the first step is to asking God to like be in your business with you. And there's a really great book for any of you listening. Um, if you haven't read it yet called more than sales and seeking God's heart for your direct sales business. Um, and and I love that because it, it really does show you like he wants to be in every part of your life and that you shouldn't separate him from just like a business thing. And I think there were times where I just, you know, it's easy with little things you think, oh, I'll just do this or do that. And what I found was even when we were working with our own coaches and, and investing into our businesses and things like that in our own learning house, I noticed that the times when things were more most frustrating or challenging, it was because I was trying to do it all in my own strength mm. and my own knowledge. And I would get caught up too. And just like, this is exactly what this person says to do. So I need to do that. Um, and I had to learn and take a step back, like, wait, let's remember that I still have my own brain too. And I have 
my, you know, I, I need to consult him more and really just pray over a lot of things, pray over the women we're working with and be okay with like where he places us that, you know, not everything's going to, I think just like when, think about when you're in your business and you are working towards a rank or something, sometimes we want that immediate gratification or right now, but I think God is going to reveal what you need and when it's best for you. And, um, and so I've just seen that play out a lot of like, the women he's brought in or the different. And when I notice that I'm more in tune with him and not doing things from my own strength or from like what I think is best, that's when I really can see the fruit of, you know, what, how he's working. It's such a, it's like an upside down way to look at business. I I feel compared to what the world will tell us and all the things that the Mm -hmm. world tells us, it's an upside down model because really what we're doing is, um, as, kingdompreneurs, kingdom entrepreneurs, as people that are, you know, working to create an income and have an impact, which is the more important thing. We need the income, but we want to have the impact. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like the world will tell you X, Y, Z. And not to say that all of those strategies aren't still the same, but often the world will tell you X, Y, Z, but the word will tell you something else, or you have yeah. specifically the Lord leaning something on your heart that goes against these crazy things that, you know, and so it takes a lot of courage to rise up and 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 follow that lead and it's so that's why I'm doing this podcast specifically because I want more women to hear stories of other women that that rose up against kind of yeah. the, the traditional thing that uh, that we are being taught in any business it's not just network marketing Right I agree it's all but I mean I had I did a podcast um with the most remarkable lawyer and she was talking about oh, you that's know awesome. I mean and she said you know You won't hear lawyers saying some of the stuff that she says, but that Mm -hmm. is, you're exactly right. He doesn't just want a part of you. He wants all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, and just like you said, yeah, with businesses, I mean, that's really been a big part just even in with my husband's business. I mean, literally everything's out of our control. (laughs) It's, 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 you can put his work out there. um, And it's just been amazing to see how God has worked through that and always providing bringing the right connections. And so I just think being really intentional about who you connect yourself with too, and not, yeah, it's like not feeling like you have to compare to what this person over here is doing and staying in alignment with like you and what you feel called. And I know you mentioned too, like part of that calling for me was, I was actually doing a Bible study called Rooted. I was facilitating it. And one of the first like chapters talked about being fearless influencers and world changers. and that really hit me out. And and I feel like if you know, I've been really trying to be more in tune, like be more spirit led. And like, if I have this feeling, so like, I think that helps too. If you have a kind of a stirring in your heart, like you'll know. And like, if you keep, like you said, keep seeing the same thing popping up or hearing, or you've been praying about something, like be open to like how God might reveal that to you. And for me, it was through doing this Bible study. And that's really where I was like, okay, like, this is how I need to really be focusing on my business. And and I think people hear the word influencer and think like, yes, you know, like the Instagram chick or something like that. But it's more of, like you said, creating that impact. Like you have influence with people right here, wherever you are in your life. And so making sure that I think being intentional with that, and even when that fear comes, right. Remembering that we really don't need to be afraid of that is. And so that I think that's where the fearless comes in, like move through because like God is with you to do that. And you're not doing it by yourself. Like you're just like a, a vessel. We're just a vessel. And and here's the thing. I Here's what I think about like actually hearing and taking action on what the Holy Spirit is pressing on you. So what does the world call it? Calls it like your intuition and all this. So that's the mm-hmm. Holy Spirit. Like the world right. keeps trying to take away all these things that God created and gave us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and we're taking it back, baby. We're yes. taking it all back. <laughs> But that it was like it gave me chills when I said that. That's the Holy Spirit. But but I believe that out that the way that we can fine tune that or or turn the volume up on that is to actually take action and respond. Mm-hmm. So um, when I was really first, and it's been a long journey. It's not a thing that happens overnight. But when I was really really focused on God, help me to hear you more clearly. Mm-hmm. That I I learned that, or I I taught myself by. I would take action on what I thought he was saying to me. And I decided I'd rather be wrong and look stupid than miss what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And so the more that I did that, the the louder his voice got. So for me today, it's much easier today to hear and know for sure that it's God and to take a step. And 
for those of you that still feel scared, if you're listening to this, here, here's what I will tell you. We serve a gracious God that even if I mm-hmm. took the wrong step, my prayer was, God, I'm going to take this step that I think you're calling me to. And if I'm wrong, I'm asking for your grace over it. Like fix right. the screw up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like fix the screw up. And so it's so, what you're doing is so important. It's so, it's so the world needs more of what you're doing. And I'm so, I'm so happy to be connected to you. Yeah, I am too. I'm really excited to continue working, you know, seeing how we can work together or collaborate or anything. So that's awesome. Like, yes, to all of it, anything, <laughs> yeah. and everything. What, where, where are you? What state are you in? I'm in Indiana. Oh, I and said I live that in Indianapolis. Indiana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, um, we're not that far. It's just a plane ride once we get right. like released. Cause you come- are near San Diego, right? Or yeah, California. Yeah. yeah. So I have a lot of, it's funny. I've almost, a lot of my entrepreneur friends are in San Diego. I'm like, I need to just fly oh, out there. And that's where we took our honeymoon. That was the first time I ever went to California was, um, we went to San Diego for the second part of it. Well, I live in Temecula, which is a, a, a little ways from, it's like, I'm like 60 miles kind of okay. inland not too and far. a little like East and a little bit of North, but, um, you know, as the crow flies, it's like 17 miles to the, to the ocean. But <laughs> I, um, I'm, I'm so excited for women to hear you. I'm so excited for, th- for them to hear your message. I'm so excited for them to connect with you. So I'm going to ask you a couple things. Mm-hmm. Number one, how do people find you and connect with you? And then number two, wh- what do you have going on right now? Like what's, yeah. coming, what's next for you? Yeah. So the quickest way, if you want to find both of us, probably go to like the Facebook page and just look up Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising. Um, or, and I'm at Natalie Marie Lawson on Facebook as well, or Instagram. And then, um, we come into our purpose partners and we'd love to have you in that community. Um, and we do weekly trainings and things in there, but we also do have, um, our rise to your, to your purpose program is going on right now where you can do that. It's more of like an eight week um, program, but then you get one-to-one, um, with us as well during that. And so we really like it to be kind of an intimate individualized process for women who are building their business, their network marketing business online. Um, and then, yeah, so that's kind of the biggest things we have going on. Um, and just, we've been, um, working with a lot of and collaborating with different entrepreneurs. And so, yeah, it's been awesome. That's awesome. And just in case you're, you didn't get that, don't worry in the show notes of the podcast, I'll have all of Natalie's information for her and her and her. So I'll put your sister's stuff in there too. Like her personal, um, Mm -hmm. you know, her contacts on Instagram and all that, however we can find her. Okay. And if you're watching the video, all the information will be right below the video in the, in the, uh, details section. And I'm just, um, I'm so happy to highlight you. I hope that we can, I know we're going to do like, I don't, I yeah, know we're we, going to do things. So yeah. I don't know what it's like, but I know for sure we're going to be connected because yes, we definitely um, need God to be. is bringing the most incredibly powerful, courageous women into the Girl Power Alliance community. And um, you, I would just want to say one last thing and maybe have you speak on it. Because you okay. said that originally when you and your sister began talking, you were like feeling the same thing. And you know, you had this thing. I call that like supernatural synergy. And I believe it happens so often when you connect uh, uh, believers, you know, yeah. people that, that are just, they're so in love with Jesus and that's their passion and they want it in, they want more of him in their lives and in their business and in their world. And you put them together in the marketplace and supernatural synergy happens, which creates like this energy that people are so attracted to. And I know that's what you guys are doing. Mm. Yeah, I know that's all. I haven't actually heard of it like or called it anything like that before. So I love that you said the supernatural synergy. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, no, I think that that's true. And like, I, I want to keep going back to, to what you said because one of the biggest questions too was like, how do you know if God's telling you? I think that was something, especially in my, you know, when I remember in college, I felt like a lot. I was like, God, what do you want for you now? And I felt like I didn't always, I was afraid to not know or like get it wrong, like you said. And so that has been the biggest thing for me is like taking that immediate action. Yeah. And his, and what's in Proverbs, it says, you know, his purpose will still prevail. So whatever, you know, he'll know when to kind of, I think about it like a GPS, he'll know when to, if you're not going the right way, reroute. He'll, redirect, <laughs> he'll reroute you, redirect you. Um, so yeah, I think it's so important that when you, have that spirit, like speaking to you, you, you feel it in you, like take action on that maybe idea you have or that desire you're thinking or, um, and I think as if you are consistently like praying over that and just being 
and alignment, getting into the scripture has been like a big um, thing for me too, of just to continue to develop and kind of have more that knowing. Um, and then, yeah, when you find other, like other people like Michelle, it's just so cool because it's just another confirmation of like what I'm doing and where yes. I'm going and that there are other women. And I really feel like I don't, I, I, I feel like within the last year, six months, maybe that's been like a huge thing. Like I've just seen more and more Christian women coming out and being bold in their faith and their business. And I just see that God's going to like keep like, I don't know, developing that. And it's just going to be really neat to see where it's things a movement. are in the next couple. It really is. And it's I'm so excited movement. about Girl Power Alliance. I think that's an awesome movement to be a part of. And so, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. I am too. And I think you're phenomenal. And I can't wait to see what else happens for you. And I know there's going to be a lot of women that are, that hear you and want to connect with you. So um, I just want to say thank you so much for, for being on here today. Thank you for what you're doing. I know I've said it like a million times, but it's so important. It's so, and then it's important what you're doing, but then it's important to be loud about it. Tell yeah. people what you're doing. And I just want to say this one last thing before we end the yeah. podcast. Um, you know, Natalie's talking about taking the step, even if the step is only to tell somebody, if you're listening mm-hmm. to this and you're like, I don't know what step to take, take that thing that's inside of you and just speak it out loud to another person. It's, it's like, it's like planting. You take mm-hmm. that seed and you put it in the dirt and then you water it. And that even that one action, God will multiply. So be bold and be creative, yes. be fearless and use your word, be fearless. Yeah, definitely. So well, thank you so much awesome for being ex- on here with yeah, me thank today. You. We great. need to get you and your sister on here together one time. Yeah, we'd love that. She actually, I was going to tell you, and I was looking up, um, there was a, several entrepreneurial women that collaborated. And so she, her first book, um, that was something that God kind of put on her heart too, like when to be an author and tell her story. She's got a lot. She, you, she'd be a good one for you to interview sometime for sure, or both of us together. Yeah. Um, and so there, her section of the book there, it's launching, I believe in May and it's called the elevation of the female preneur. Ooh. Um, and so, yeah, some of that one will be really cool. And then we're going to be finishing up our 30 day devotional that we had started with our rise to your purpose program. And so that'll come available too. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm excited to continue working with you and getting to know you guys. So. Same, same. Well, you have an awesome day. Thank All you right, so you much. you too. Thank you. I hope you loved that podcast as much as I did. Natalie and her sister Brandy are just a huge blessing to the Girl Power Alliance community. Matter of fact, speaking of the Girl Power Alliance community, um, one of our featured courses this month in, within our membership was done by the two of them. And it is incredible. There are so many takeaways, so many nuggets, so many things that will help you to grow your network marketing business specifically. Um, But as always within the network marketing space, there are absolutely tools and takeaways that apply to uh, just a a number of things, your personal life, any profession, any job. And so this course is just packed with it. And that's one of the many things that you have access to inside the membership of Girl Power Alliance. Are you a member yet? What are you waiting for? (laughs) head over to girlpoweralliance.com and join us. We have some amazing things going on with some amazing women. And of course, your voice is, we're missing it. We're missing your voice. It is needed and it is wanted. Girl Power Alliance, this is where women grow.